do we play games? I know opening with a vague and generally profound sounding query is basically a cliche of the video essay genre at this point, but bear with me, I'm going somewhere with this. And besides, I feel like clicking a video called Nihilism in Video Games is like signing a waiver to get down with some pseudo-philosophical bullcrap, so I'll proceed unapologetically. But returning to the question at hand, why do we play games? A lot of people will say it's for the power fantasy of it, which is a fair assessment. However, despite what some sources would like you to believe, there's more to it than that. A good story, a creative outlet, an insightful commentary, stress relief, and sometimes just art. As many have before me, I've heard the retort that video games are a waste of your time in life, that you should be out gathering experiences in the real world instead of a virtual approximation for behind a screen. And to some extent I agree that living experiences in meat space is something definitely important and not to be neglected. However, the previous statement doesn't invalidate the experiences created through digital media, and in fact I believe video games are a perfect vessel for experience unavailable to us in our physical reality. But the whole games are a waste of your time debacle does pose an interesting question, which is why do we do things? Well, let's look at the things we do. And by we, I mean I, because there's no audience participation here. YouTube is a dictatorship, and I'll be your supreme leader for the next few minutes, so get used to it. So what do I do? Well, I wake up, eat some food, attend my classes, go for a walk, work on my personal projects, go to work, spend some time with friends, and go to sleep. Eating food and sleeping are for basic survival, easy as that, so let's cross them off. Attending college classes is a little trickier to define, though. On one hand, there's the fulfillment of the pursuit of wisdom, and on the other hand, being a college graduate will help my odds of becoming financially stable in the future. In summary, gather knowledge, acquire currency. And we can segue that into the whole having a job thing. I work partially because I enjoy what I do, but mostly because it's an easy way to make money that isn't soul-wrenching or an OnlyFans account. But we're on a reality dissecting role, so let's keep it going. Why is money important? Well, use it to buy things you need to survive, but also the materialistic culture we live in programs us to believe that obtaining wealth is a form of fulfillment. That you can fill your life's need for meaning with an iPhone or a new purse or a Cadillac. And so money has become a means of fulfillment. And for most people working 9 to 5s, it's their only form of fulfillment. But let's dig out of this weird hole we're in and look at the rest of what we've got here. My walks, personal projects, and spending time with friends are all different forms of fulfillment, be it relaxation, artistic fulfillment, or social fulfillment. So really, the only two things in life is living and self-fulfillment. Survive and thrive. And for a lot of people, myself included, games bring us that fulfillment. Our desire to create, destroy, interact with people both real and fictional, to be powerful, to feel lost, to wander and wonder. I remember I was trying to explain this to someone, much less succinctly I'll admit because it wasn't scripted. And the response was, how can these experiences we cultivate through games be as impactful as real ones if they don't affect the real world? If it isn't real, then how can we be fulfilled? And to that I say, and say it with me now, because if you've been keeping up with the themes of this video, then it should be rather evident what's coming here. What is real? The concept of nihilism, which I'd assume you'd understand if you clicked on this video, but what's wrong with being rhetorical, eh? Is the belief that life is meaningless, that it lacks any point or purpose. With this in mind, wouldn't it be fair to say that our games, from the perspective of a player, are the epitome of nihilism? Of course, for the characters within the game, everything is very structured from start to end, but what about for the players? With every game you'll ever play, there will be a day that you put it down and you never play it again. Every collectible, every achievement, every statistic becomes meaningless from that point on. And some would say that all the time you invested would be void as well. But yet we still play games, because even after we put them down, we forevermore carry those experiences with us, just like in real life. A moment is not mute because it's over, no. A life is not pointless because someday it will end. Why can't we enjoy our games the same way? 
So next time someone tries to tell you that games are just a waste of your time, just smile and laugh politely. Perhaps send this link to them passively aggressively after the conversation is done. Maybe I can find fulfillment in games just like you can find fulfillment in drinking Chardonnay and Facebook stalking your ex-husband, Karen. But all in all, just enjoy your games, just like you enjoy the rest of your life. And with that, Chronostech, clocking out.